Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Um, I thought I would make a uh, scrapbook page using the brand new Jubilee Cricut cartridge. And what I did was I cut out the tree from the cartridge. Um, and with the tree, it cuts out a little bit of grass for the bottom. And then I also cut out um, some words uh, to the lake um, for my title, which is cut at one and a half using um, the runt key. So, so anyway, Let's, uh, let's get started. First thing I need to do is, um, let me just move these things to the side here. I'm going to map my photo, and I'm using, this is Stampin' Up's Brocade Blue um, cardstock, and this is a photo of me and my son from uh, a couple years ago at our lake. Um, cottage so um, what's really what I loved about this is you really can't see it but this there's a tree right here and long many years ago uh, my husband's family they ran a, um, a hose with a spigot and it looks like the uh, the water comes out of the tree so that's why I'm using the tree from Jubilee so what I'm gonna do first is this is um, to the nines Stampin' Up's to the nine specialty paper and I'm just going to adhere this this is um, cut at one and a half inches, and I do eight by eight by eight scrapbook pages. And the bottom one is also um, one and a half inches. So I'm just putting this at the top and the bottom. Okay. And this is just a little longer than the eight. So let me just trim this off. There we go. Okay. And now I just want to check my placement first because the top of this tree is, is kind of big. So what I'm going to do is just place my tree. Right. I just wanted an idea of where I was going to put my tree on the page. And I'm just using the um, Zig 2A glue pen. It's going to go right down the bottom here. And then this is um, the grass that cuts out with the tree. And this is um, always artichoke Stampin' Ups, always artichoke card stock. So I'm just going to put this right at the base of the tree. Ooh, I got a little bit of glue on my scrapbook page. You shouldn't scrap or glue things on top of your scrapbook page because you always get it over a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is using my snail, I'm going to put the top of my tree. Right. right here. Okay. And now what we're going to do is place my photo. And actually, I want my photo to be underneath the tree. Just like that. So let me put some snail on here. Don't mind that noise, my husband is outside weed whacking. Right out underneath my window here. Okay. And then this is I cut out the lake at um I think I said one and a half inches, and I used the runt key on the Jubilee cart. And it really wasn't too thin, and I was kind of worried it would be, and I know that's a lot of people were thinking maybe it would be too thin, but it seems to be okay. So I'll ad adhere this down later. Um, but the other thing I want to do is, um, I just got these, um, these are clear stamps from uh, Hampton Art. Um, I got them at AC Moore, and they just got these in, and it's called Nature One. And I thought I would just use maybe some of the butterflies or 
and maybe the bird just around my tree so it has something else with it. So let's go with, let's do the butterfly. All right, now I just need to find my acrylic block somewhere. Here it is. And then I'm going to use the Brocade Blue ink pad from Stampin' Up. And what I'm going to do first is, because the first time I'm using this stamp, um, so I just want to maybe test stamp it a couple of times, just to get that first, usually with the, the clear stamps, they have like a film or something on them, so... And this one I noticed, I can't push too hard because if I do, it seems to smush. It's my technical term, smush. And I'm just going to put a couple of these around my tree. And then I'll adhere this, this down later on. Okay, so that is my scrapbook page um, for this week. So I hope, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.